Hi, I'm Alden Knowlton from MBA, and here are the top three things you need to know from Washington. Last week, the House and Senate passed a $1.3 trillion spending bill, and President Trump signed into law Friday after tweeting a veto threat. HUD will receive an increase of $3.9 billion, or 10%, over the last fiscal year, including funding for housing counseling assistance and FHA and Ginnie Mae administrative contract expenses. An important facet of the legislation was the decoupling of the National Flood Insurance Program from government funding, meaning program authority will expire on July 31, 2018, rather than at the end of the fiscal year. The omnibus also included legislation to expand availability of the Low Income Housing Tax Credit Program for the next four years, so 2018 to 2021, along with designated funds for the IRS to complete regulatory implementation of last year's sweeping tax bill. Last week, the House Financial Services Committee passed a series of eight deregulatory bills, including a bill to give credit reporting protections to certain forms of a veteran's medical debt and another that would raise the reporting thresholds for small bank examinations. This markup has ties to the Senate's regulatory relief effort as some, but not all, of the bills considered are identical to provisions within the bipartisan CRAPO bill that passed the full Senate two weeks ago. And finally, this year's National Advocacy Conference, or NAC, will take place April 24th and 25th at the Capitol Hilton here in Washington, D.C. Recently added to the schedule for NAC is a luncheon with Anna Palmer and Jake Sherman of Politico. Palmer and Sherman are senior correspondents with Politico and co-authors of Politico Playbook, the morning newsletter read by many of the biggest political influencers in Washington. In an interview with NBA's chairman-elect Chris George, Palmer and Sherman will provide an insider's look at D.C. and the national political scene. To register for this year's NAC, please visit nba.org nac18. Now you're up to speed with what's happening in our nation's capital.